existence, repetition, definition. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, got some more tech finally. Um, so first I wanted to uh, talk a little bit. I don't really have much to show because it's kind of difficult to use this orbit neutral and most of the time I would recommend using if you're going to be using it in neutral to, you know, supplement it into your footsies. You don't have to use staff normals that hit down there. And then you can, uh, use it as an easy anti-air. A high damaging, uh, anti-air. Or just, uh, you know, throw it out in neutral, beat buttons, beat other things. But if you throw the high one, and you're shooting at a range where uh, the opponent can't jump in and punish you at least, you know, assuming you're fighting against a character not like Rashid or something that can punish this from full screen, you can keep shooting. I mean, even if they neutral jump or jump over it in any way, then uh, it recovers really quickly because it leaves the screen almost immediately. So you can just build meter, you can harass. If the opponent jumps in, uh, usually, and I'd prefer to be able to just shoot the orb to detonate it as an anti-air from downtown, but the gunshot has a terrible hurt box. Most of the time you're actually going to get beat out and not even manage, I mean, it's not even hitting them with the orb. It's a really bad hurt box, no matter how far away you are here. Let's detonate the orb from really far away. So, it's absolutely true that if they jump over it, then you can you can wait until they land and then lock them down and then get a forward dash or something like of the sort. But you can also try to anti-air like that uh, with the forward heavy heavy punch and uh, get a trade or I mean they might they very well might not even be pressing a button at that far away. <laughs> Beyond that, uh, I've also been looking at uh, some non, you know, situations where you can get a guaranteed chip out and not uh, deal with V reversals. So um, using the mine, you can set some chip situations. If you detonate the mine with this, you can cancel that right into super. And they won't be able to V-reversal. There's no, there's no gap uh, whatsoever even for them to uh, get out of it. Now beyond that, I have um, some tech in the corner with the uh, V-skill 2 as well. So detonating it before they quick rise their back tech by immediately crouch jabbing it and then jumping forwards. Uh, so long as they are crouch blocking when they're getting up, they are stuck I in the crouch block animation. This is the opposite of fuzzy guarding, basically. So they're stuck uh, crouch blocking for the for the, the entire block stun of the mine, which is very long. Which means that you can actually uh, jump forward and do an immediate dive kick. And by the time that they're allowed to stand up and block. Uh, the dive kick will already be past the point where their head would normally be, which means that it's an incredibly easy, um, if they, it looks like you're going to cross up, so they block the opposite way, at, but the dive kick is already deep enough by the time they stand up into it, that you can combo easily into the jumping heavy punch and get a full combo afterwards. This works on quick rise or back tech. You can do that, or you can go for the actual cross-up. The, uh, the opponent can hit you, because you're not actually meeting them. The orb will hit them a few seconds later, but... The opponent can just jump out, uh, if they're predicting this, if, they're, if they know that you're not going to meaty them. So instead, you can just set it up, and even even if you do the longer combo where you're further away, when you place the orb, 
you can just sort of uh, do that, and then the, the crouch jab will trigger the mine. And uh, even if they block, you can get a forward dash and still be plus. So that punishes them if they do anything on wake up, or if they, uh, or if they try to uh, stand block to start with, because it only works if they crouch block the mine. So you can do that to punish them for doing that. If you just want to go for a meaty, you can just do like standing medium punch into the gunshot. So uh, that's a. a pretty decent mix-up. It works it, the, the, it works on everyone, but the taller the character you're doing it on is, um, the better it'll work, because the sooner they'll have to block the, uh, the cross-up. Uh, so... It actually is, for most characters, it is a reactable mix-up. You know, if they lab this, they can figure it out, but, you know, if you do it in the heat of the moment, and, you know, they're responding to, um... They're responding to the forward jump and they block the wrong way. The dive kick will probably hit them, even if even if they're aware of the mix. And uh, you can get a big fat combo. Let's see. Beyond that, you can also use. Probably not going to use this very much, but say your opponent's at a pixel of life or something, they need the last hit. Uh, you can also, if you get them to block the orb while they are stand blocking, which you can do by, you know, hitting them with the jumping button. Like a jumping heavy punch at the same time that you trigger the orb. But say, yeah, you're jumping in from here, they need to be blocking high, and you do jump jump light punch to trigger the mine so that they, they stand block the mine, but they're not stand blocking your button. And you don't have to, you know, go through hit stop or anything. If they're, if they're doing that, you can lock them down uh, in a stand block position for long enough to get a full forward dash, and then you can still fuzzy guard them. So yeah, I mean that's the tech. 